Hey everyone, my name is Sunny and I'm with the Livingston Parish Library. Today we're doing a hot glue canvas art. And these are some examples up here in front. And using the hot glue, depending on how you use it, will give the art piece a three-dimensional effect. And um, so we're going to attempt it. The background will be painted with a flat color and then we're going to do the accent colors with um, some shoe polish and some metallic paint. So the only supplies that you need for this is this is an 8 by 10 canvas. I'm going to do an oak leaf today. You need a pencil, your paints, hot glue, and I would highly recommend using some kind of protect, protection on your hands. Uh, so gloves or if you've got, if you don't have gloves, you can use a Ziploc or plastic wrap or anything to protect you from the paint because it's going to get everywhere. Okay, so we're going to zoom in and get started. Okay, so as you can see, we are doing the oak leaf today and um, all you have to do is trace around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just going to be um, the, uh, just a trace line for you. And then on the inside, you'll just freehand whatever is on the inside of the leaf. Again, perfection is not necessary. Okay. So you put your template aside, and your next step is you're going to trace your marking with your hot glue gun. And um, the outside, you want to go over this line two to three times, and the inside um, one to two times. The samples that we've done, uh, the outside was done with two layers of hot glue, this line, and then the inside was done with one. So we're going to maybe bump it up a little, see if we can get a little thicker dimension on it. You do want to try to be a little consistent with how you're squeezing it just so the glue doesn't get like stri um, stringy or globs, but if it does, we will make it work. And an 8x10 canvas is probably the smallest that you're going to want to use because of the hot glue. Um, if you do a smaller canvas and you do a design, like even if this oak leaf was uh, uh, sized to fit on like a 5x7, your glue is going to kind of spread just a little and it's going to not make a very clear image. So the glue has been done around the perimeter and on the inside. I went ahead and did two layers. So I traced it once, I let it dry, and came back and traced it again, inside and out, did the same thing. I've mixed a cup of paint. Uh, this is um, weird green, I don't know. <laughs> and I mixed some brown in it just to darken it up. We've found that when doing our samples, that if you're working on the whiteboard, which is what we will be doing, um, you need a darker color. It just helps the metallic paint pop a lot better. 
Um, so that's what we're doing. I think. So you're just going to paint the entire face of the canvas, even over the hot glue. You want to make sure you get into those little crevices that the glue has created. And before um, this step, you're going to want to remove all those hot glue strings that you know you're going to get. Um, we, I just did it off camera so you didn't have to be bored with that stuff. Now that it's got into, I think, all of the little crevices, I'm just going to smooth out the paint so it's not splotchy. And this is just acrylic paint. So if you get it on yourself, you can get it to come off. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back with the next step. So we let the canvas dry a little bit. The next step is to go over it with some black shoe polish. You can use uh, this liquid kind or you can do the paste. And all I do is just dab around where I did the glue. See, I want to get in the crevices even more and uh, highlight or low light, whatever, make them stand out. And then you just take a paper towel Don't worry about it being uh, splotchy. We're going, I'm going to go back over with um, some wet paper towel as well. Kind of thin out that shoe polish, but it gives your background some texture. And some visual interest. You don't want to go too crazy because you know you'll erase everything you just did. If you have any streaks, you can kind of smooth them out. So 
that's about all I'm going to do with the shoe polish. Now I'm going to move on to the accent color with metallics. Um, I brought with me some green metallic and this coppery gold. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm just going to use a Q-tip. You could use your fingers, but the gloves don't really fit me. Uh, so if I use my fingers, I'm going to get metallic paint in places that I really want it. But you don't need a lot. I don't know that this is going to show up. I think it really showed up. I'm going to let it dry a little. I'm going to do the outside and the other color and go from there. Look how pretty. Very fall like. That shows up. I'm mostly just going over the very top rim of the hot glue. Um, if you want to do the whole thing, you can. I just want to highlight the top. so far. I haven't decided if I want to do the inside. Maybe give it a shot and maybe go back with a little green highlights on top of the gold. 
maybe not. Depends on how pretty it is. But um, you can do really whatever you want. We have one sample that we took the metallic paint after painting the canvas and doing the shoe polish. We did the metallic paint all over the canvas. Um, we have one where we did the metallic paint on the outline of the item of the shape and then we also carried it on the inside of the shape. That was really pretty. You can do just the outline. If you don't like metallic, you can skip this part completely. The green's still wet. I don't think I need to go back over with the green. I think that's it. So let me clean up and get this to dry a little bit and I will show you the final result. Okay, so this is the finished result. And uh, this program we're going to do in person and we're also gonna have kits available. And with each kit, you will get one of these flat canvas boards and a template. And um, you'll be able to take it home and, and create your own masterpiece at home. These are the five templates that we're gonna have available. It will be first come, first serve. So you know, there's a design that you really like, um, just come early and get it. <laughs> okay, so like I said, this is going to be in person as well. I think all of the branches are offering it this time, so we will see you very soon in person. Happy crafting!